and I've got a, there's so much emphasis on on um, laser equipment in this. I'm wondering if the Chinese aren't planning to have high intensity battlefields just completely jammed out in the radio spectrum, um, so that no one else can use it. And it, good idea. Yeah, good idea. And having an alternative in the, in the um, the laser spectrums um, is, is really quite clever. So you can obviously use just like a carbon fiber does it. Um, uh, a, a laser to communicate um, a voice stream or just data. Uh, but, you know, there are issues with it in that smoke, weather, um, snow, sandstorms, you know, there's there's a lot of things that can um, degrade the performance of these systems. You know, one of the fun things, uh, well, back in my day with mm -hmm. the Army, um, uh, with radio comms, um, a simple way of jamming the radio comms of anybody around you uh, was just to get a bunch of, radios mm -hmm. set them to a bunch of stations mm -hmm. and then hold down and then tape down the squelch button of the handset mm -hmm. so all it does is go mm -hmm. all the time and so mm -hmm. whatever bandwidth somebody mm -hmm. might be um uh, or uh, radio or um, frequency somebody mm -hmm. wants to communicate on it's covered somebody yeah. else is already just going mm -hmm and across that mm -hmm. and you just have 15 radios and then, mm -hmm. or 30 radios or however mm -hmm. many you've got lying around 